Hello chess lovers, Solan here and in today's video we are going to enjoy another very interesting game. Today is the 9th of November and probably you know that it's the 85th birth anniversary of the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. Which means that today on our board we are going to see a game played by the magician. Mikhail Tal is on the white side and his opponent is Danish chess grandmaster Bent Larsen. This game is from 1965 Tal vs. Larsen candidates semi-final match. With this being said now we can go through the game. Tal opened up with e4 to which Larsen answered with knight f6. Alekhin defense is on the board against which white is applying modern variation. D takes e5, knight takes e5, e6. Black is choosing a rare line. In here the main move is c6. G6 can be also seen often, or even knight d7. In the fourth game, this is the move which Larsen chose, but in this game we see e6. Queen f3 with a direct mating threat, queen f6. Queen g3, h6, preventing bishop g5. Knight goes on c3, knight b4, attacking the pawn. White announced the check, and then protected the pawn on c2. Knight d7, meanwhile black is hurrying to develop his queen side pieces. An exchange on e5 followed, queen g6, queen f3. Of course Tal could also go for queen takes g6, leaving black with a shattered pawn structure. This also allows white to maintain advantage, but in the game we have queen f3. And actually that line starting well with e6 is a little bit dubious, you know. In this case, white really managed to gain a dominating position and of course the initiative is on Tal's side. Queen f5, queen e2. Okay, Tal will never accept the exchange of queens this early. It's time to kick away this knight. Knight goes back on d5 and it was in here that Tal made a very beautiful decision. Can you find his next move? Ready? Here we go, Tal made an absolutely fantastic knight b5 move. Now, this is crazy guys, how on earth did he manage to come up with a fantastic move like this. c takes b5, black accepted the peace sacrifice, but let's take a look what if for example black castles kingside, then how can white make use of this knight b5 move? Turns out that uh, in this case white can play knight d4. Yeah, it turns out that this uh, maneuver allows white to uh, occupy a central square, also open up the c pawn's path, and now to queen g6, white can answer with c4, and then can play bishop a2, and uh, black is in trouble, you know? That's why in the game black accepted the peace sacrifice. Let me tell you that at this point the engine gives equality, but from black side an utmost precision is required in order to keep the balance. Uh, here comes c4, queen takes e5. Black decided to give back the piece, but this is not good, this is losing. Better was playing knight b6. If check, then king c7. Of course, black king is awkwardly placed, but there are no direct dangers to black king. In the game after c4, we have queen takes e5, and c takes d5. Bishop d6, g3, Tal neutralized the threat, queen takes d5, queen e2. Again, all the time Tal is uh, rejecting the offer of exchange of queens because already in this case that can be suicidal. Black has an extra pawn. Here comes rook d1. Yeah, and this black king stuck in the center of the board is now going to fall victim to white's aggression. It's an easy target. Queen g4, protecting the bishop hitting on g7. But what is interesting at this point Tal missed a very beautiful rook takes d6 move. Let's take a quick look how this move can allow white to win the game. And now white is also sacrificing the bishop on a4 after which this dark squared bishop is joining the attack and very quickly cooperating together with the queen uh, they are managing to win the game. A powerful deflective move, you can't accept the pawn sacrifice. And if queen b5 then rook c5, all white pieces are attacking and this is how white can win the game. 
uh, but Tal missed it. I guess he saw Rook takes d6 but failed to calculate up to the end and he chose a more cautious queen g4 continuation. Uh, queen goes on f5, again black is offering the exchange of queens. Uh, in case of uh, queen takes g7, black has bishop e5 move, it's not good, that's why we see queen c4, queen c5, queen d3, queen d5, queen c3, and already yeah, you can't play queen c5, in this case bishop, uh, queen takes g7 works. Uh, what is interesting, and now if you play bishop e5, then can you find the mating line for white? Ready? Here we go. This bishop g5 is allowing white to announce a quick checkmate. Black king is getting checkmated. Uh, in the game, after queen d5, we have queen c3, bishop e5, and queen e1. Finally, white queen manages to stay away from that chase. Uh, queen c5, and now it's black queen which is under attack. Queen c5, bishop d2, with bishop b4 thread. King f6, yeah, turns out that just there is no time to find a safe shelter for this king. Black was forced to move his king on an awkward looking uh, f6 square. And there comes rook c1, queen b6, bishop e3, queen a6. And now it's black queen which, uh, which is uh, becoming a target, you know. First Tal tried to uh, target this king, then changed the direction of the attack, and now it's black queen which is under, uh, under white's cautious eye. Queen goes on b4, this time white is threatening bishop b5, uh, trapping the queen. Black played b5 which white simply won. Queen b7, f4. This time white is restricting the movement of the dark squared bishop. Bishop goes back on b8 and after bishop c6, resignation followed because black is suffering heavy losses. Uh, a very crazy final position, right? And here is what uh, Carol e. Tiber writes in his book Michael Tal's Best Games. It is amazing that two world-class players competing in the World Championship qualification cycle could reach a position that looks more like an amateur game with four of black pieces on the back rank and his most active piece being the king. Yeah, truly a fantastic position. Uh, one, one in a million. Hope that you enjoyed this game. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And in the end, the chess puzzle, where the task is to win with the white pieces, try to find the winning move for white. Moreover, there is even a forced mate in three. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.